Mike Schmidt with Emerging Life Saving Technologies. Today we're going to discuss the new ELT 406 GPS ELT from our company. It's the very first ELT built with a uh, built-in GPS. We also have some other very unique features that set our product apart from everyone else out there. But really what the an important thing to know is the limitations of the Coast Pass SARSAT system, the limitations of the other ELTs that are on the market today, and how we've sol solved a lot of those issues. First of all, with one of the surprising things that we found when we began development of this product is that anywhere between 30 and 70 percent of ELTs fail in the emergency, in an emergency situation. So the most common failure point is the battery, but also the other contributing factors to ELT failure are if the aircraft hits too hard, if the aircraft comes to rest in an unusual attitude, upside down or on its side, limiting the transmission field of the uh, antenna, um, or you know, the, also if the aircraft catches on fire, if you end up in water, and, and those kind of things are, are pretty catastrophic. But really what, what we found, again, is the most common failure point was the battery, and a lot of contributing factors to that as well. Many of the ELTs out there use off-the-shelf alkaline batteries. I don't know if you've ever used a, a flashlight through a bunch of D-cell batteries in a flashlight and came back in five years. There's a bunch of crud in there. Those alkaline batteries really are very prone to leakage and, uh, and uh, corrosion. Also, they're usually installed loosely in a tray, and uh, similar to a flashlight tray. So in the event of an impact, those batteries start rattling around, they come loose, they break their connections, or they can even break some of the internal parts of the ELT, the PC boards, things like that. Other types of batteries that are out there uh, that may have a little more battery life, a little more long-term battery, are connected with soldered tabs instead of welded tabs. So again, in a hard impact, those battery, those battery terminals come loose. They, uh, the solder is very brittle, so that becomes broken. And again, those batteries can be rattling around, banging around inside the box once you have that impact. And the um, breaking PC boards, breaking connections, and things like that. They also deteriorate over time, or can deteriorate over time, or they might start to discharge, and there's really no notification to the crew that they're discharging. There's no way to set, uh, to, to check whether or not the ELT battery is still good. And uh, again, if you're out there and you haven't been able to check the power of your battery and you get into an imp a crash, now you've got no battery power and never were notified of that fact. Most of the other ELTs out there are built with ABS plastic. ABS plastic is very brittle, it deteriorates with UV exposure, um, so again, in those hard impacts, it's likely to crack, break, come loose, and as we've already discussed, the, uh, when you start having things break and fail, now the connections start loosening up as well. Unusual attitude is a, is a big problem in aircraft crashes. The aircraft comes to rest on its side or upside down. All of the other ELTs uh, out there use a long rod or whip antenna. So if you roll the aircraft over, that antenna is likely to become broken. Those antennas are also vertically polarized. So if you're rolled over on your side or even upside down, now you're radiating all of the transmission energy into the hillside or into the ground. It's not going to be able to get up to the satellite system where uh, we want it to be. Uh, I mentioned before that we are the very first ELT manufacturer to integrate GPS uh, and actually have it built right into our box. What's important about that is that the other manufacturers are a three frequency ELT. They have 121.5, 243, and 406. 406 technology is the next technology. It's not mandated yet, but it is the next technology. And everybody is touting the benefits of 406 technology. And it is much, much better than 121.5. In fact, no one's even listening to 121.5 anymore. The thing that's important to recognize with 406 is that it certainly is not perfect by any stretch on its own. If you look at a 406 on its own, the transmission goes up. It takes anywhere from 30 to 90 minutes to get enough satellite passes to triangulate your position within 2 to 4 nautical miles, 2 to, two to 5 nautical miles with 406. Then the search and rescue folks go out with their willow wand and use their direction finding equipment and try to home in on the 121.5 transmission. So you can see that there's going to take, it's going to take a long time for those folks to get out and, uh, and rescue you. When you've got GPS data built right into your ELT, 
the 406 is a digital transmission with the GPS built into our box we can actually add the lat long to that transmission uh, so with the GPS built in we'll be able to know we'll be able to send a transmission to the search and rescue folks they're going to know where you are within uh, 100 feet in one minute very very important deal so they can send out the uh, uh, search and rescue folks that are actually going to come and find you right away. So why did we create emerging life-saving technologies? Well, when we went out and looked at the other ELTs that were on the market, we found that there were some limitations and really some shortcomings in the way that they were, they were uh, produced and developed. We've already discussed the limitations of antennas. We've discussed the survivability issues with alkaline batteries and ABS plastic. And so what we decided to do was go out, build a new box, and quite honestly build a better mousetrap. And that's what this is. This is the Emerging Life Saving Technologies ELT-406 with GPS. It's the very first and only ELT with built-in GPS. The box itself is built out of polycarbonate instead of ABS. It's crush-proof, fire-resistant, very, very durable box. When we talked earlier about uh, ELT batteries, one of the things that we wanted to make sure was that that battery was not going to come loose in a crash and that the connections were not going to come loose in the crash. So what we do is we actually bond the battery to this back plate with some shock absorbent material. It's not going to come loose in the impact. Uh, this box has been hit with a 500G impact and it still worked just fine. We use welded tap connections instead of soldered tap connections on the battery. And then the, also all of the electronics are sealed with a potting compound. So you're not going to have any of those wires getting banged around, coming loose, uh, or anything like that in the event of, a, of an impact. Another major improvement that Emerging Life Saving Technologies has made to ELTs is the antenna. As we've discussed before, we've got GPS built right into the ELT. This is our GPS connection right here. The GPS antenna is incorporated right into the 406 transmitter antenna, and this is your 406 transmission here. You can see it's a very, very low profile antenna. So in the event of that aircraft rolling over, it's less likely to become broken. It's also built out of polycarbonate instead of ABS plastic or fiberglass. By having a polycarbonate, it's very, very unlikely that it's going to become broken. It's also not going to uh, degrade with UV exposure as it sits on top of your aircraft day after day. The single most important feature of this antenna, however, is the dual polarization. Remember, we discussed before that all of the other ELT antennas are vertically polarized. So if you roll the aircraft over or even become inverted, you're now transmitting all of that information, all of that data is being radiated right into the ground. With this antenna, it's the only antenna on the market that's both vertically and horizontally polarized. So if we roll the aircraft over, we're still transmitting that signal straight up to the satellites. Even if you're inverted, that, this antenna is going to transmit along the horizon and get, uh, get, pick up a satellite coming over the, coming over the horizon very, very important feature of this, uh, of our system. When you run your self-test with the panel mounted switch, you're going to get a series of lights. If you get five green lights, you're good to go. If you, uh, if for some reason this battery does start discharging, we've got 110 hours of transmission time built right into the box. If it gets below 40 hours of transmission time, you're going to start getting notification on the panel mounted switch when you run your self-test. So you're never going to be out there in an emergency with a discharge battery that you didn't know. One of the benefits of having a low profile antenna as opposed to a very long rod antenna is if you're working with a fabric or composite aircraft, we can actually hide this under fabric or composite, mount it under the tube, under the tubes and fabric, or within your composite uh, empennage, mount both pieces just like this on a 10 by 10 ground plane and it's hidden from sight, very, very sleek, clean installation. For more information, please visit our website, www.elt406.net.